Yo, what I've, uh, I've done a lot of work on this vehicle from replacing gaskets to a new throttle position sensor, new idle air control valves, new, new uh, spark plug wires, uh, all new distributor cap, new coil, uh, new e EGR valve. I've, I've done a lot of work, flushed the radiator system, uh, put a new catalytic converter in, uh, way too much to mention, but uh, but I did want to say that no matter what kind of work you do on your your Corvette, uh, I just wanted to talk about the ECM learning ability. This is sometimes I don't I don't I don't talk a lot about this, but uh, according to the fa factory service manual uh, 6E25, the electronic control module has a learning capability. If the battery is disconnected to clear diagnostic codes or for repair, the learning process has to begin all over again. A change may be noted in the vehicle's performance. And that, that was one thing right there that I wanted to touch base on. A change may be noted in the vehicle's performance. It really doesn't make any difference. If you disconnect the battery or you don't disconnect the battery, uh, you're not going to see a difference until you do what it says right here and that is to teach the vehicle, ensure the vehicle is at operating temperature and drive at a part throttle with moderate acceleration and idle conditions until performance returns. So basically it's saying in order to teach if you replace the throttle position sensor or the idle air control valves in order to teach this vehicle <laughs> You have to ensure the vehicle is at operating temperature, drive it at part throttle, that doesn't mean like punch it, uh, with moderate acceleration and idle conditions. So um, I think what it's saying here is you need to idle it for a considerable amount of time for the ECM to learn until performance returns. Whether you disconnect the battery or leave it connected, the electronic control module is going to have to relearn everything. The electronic control module on these cars is passenger side. Uh, just take this courtesy cover off up under here. There are two bolts that hold the ECM in. Uh, it, it's basically straight up. Uh, take two bolts out and you can pull it down, it'll drop down wiring and all, you can unplug it and have it serviced if, you, if that's what you need to do. I've been lucky so far, I haven't had to have anything serviced so on my ECM, but I do know that you have to get this car up to 45, 40 miles an hour operating temperature uh, in order to, for any, any work that you do on the car to, to take effect. So I just wanted to pass that along.